It's just a close up. I've got the bracket now mounted uh, on the base of the uh, base of the move. I had to file down just these corners slightly because they, these were start sticking out. Um, these weren't particularly accurate. These uh, LPs I bought from the hardware shop. So uh, um, out of a packet of ten, they varied in hold uh, hold point and diameter as well. But I managed to get uh, the original one I measured. Obviously, I'd, I'd cut my um, holes too, but uh, I managed to get them all in. Um, so I've we drilled holes through the side uh, so there's four bolts on the sides four at the top so it's it, it's as solid as it's going to be um i've also got a slot in here so the cable if i put cables into the tube um i can if i slot the bottom of the tube i can bring cables up and out from here okay so that's ready to take a bolt through there's another bolt that will go in the side here that way got to drill out the, the pole to take the bolts uh, this is all screwed on now as I was saying. Okay I've got the bracket on the pole, I've got the uh, in-move mounted on the bracket and everything so you can see I've bolted through, just I can turn that around, so I've got a bolt through there, bolt through there. I put a draw wire in there because I put it as I'm saying I've got a slot in there, I've got a slot at the bottom of the pole. Hold the slot there, I've just brought the cable out the bottom there. But as you can see I've mounted the power supply behind the in-move and wired it all up uh, and I've got the power block at the bottom there so that goes up the tube, the cable goes up the, uh, the, the tube, comes out there and connects into the back of the, uh, into the back of the in-move.